Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Canine Clips Dog Grooming Tips. This is Pearl, and she's a Yorkshire Terrier who's coming for her full groom. But I'm just going to show you a trimming of the face, feet, and bum, as those are the most difficult uh, things to do on a dog. And we'll see about her ears as well. Yeah, and I'll do her ears as well, just because they're a little bit full and a little bit dirty. So that'll give you a full kind of idea of the, the more difficult areas to do on a dog. <clears throat> so when I groom a dog, I don't use any restraints. And I'm going to show you that without any restraints, how I groom, and also without any editing to the film. So you get to see the full grooming process. So I do use scissors on the face. And... Uh, I do uh, use these two fingers when I hold the dog, so um, I'm not putting any pressure on the throat at all. And then I can kind of have some maneuverability with them. And I've also been grooming for 17 years. So when I first started out, of course, it wasn't this easy by how it looks, I guess. But it's always just slow and steady. Good girl. And Pearl's really good, as you can see. For staying, she's kind of resting her head on me. You do need really good sharp scissors to do this and you can buy the ones that are rounded as well if you're a little nervous around the eye area or any area I've always used these type of scissors even when I first started And then through the years, I just got a little bit faster and faster. You can see there's a little bit of goop in there still, but I'm not going to use the scissors right now. I'm going to wait till I bath her, and then uh, that'll kind of, I'll massage that area and loosen it up, and then I'll be able to get the scissors underneath that. You could also use a paper towel and just kind of loosen that up a little bit, and that'll actually start off and you'll be able to get underneath it. Okay, I just got to pause right now as I have somebody coming to pick up their dog. So we'll take Pearl if we're with me and we'll be right back. All right. There we go. All right, so we're just going to continue with her face. Sometimes people like to do this in between groomings, especially um, right now it's we're just into fall, so it's starting to cool down quite a bit here where I am. So 
a lot of people will just kind of do the this little trim keep the body a little bit longer and then kind of grow it out a little bit more for the winter time Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to do a little bit closer for her ears here so we can hopefully get a better look. That's why I got to put my mask back on. I took it off thinking. <laughs> It would be okay, but now I'm getting hair all over. There we go. Okay, so I just use regular tweezers when I do this. And when I was trimming the hair, I still miss a few. There's some hair that grows outside of the ear canal. You want to make sure you're not accidentally plucking that hair because it is different. So the hair inside the dog's ear is a lot different than the hair outside of the dog's ear. So. Trying to pluck that hair that's outside would really, really hurt. But the hair inside the ear actually comes out quite easily. So I just like to use regular tweezers. Really good ones though. Just do a little bit at a time. And if your dog doesn't stay as good as Pearl here, Okay, all right. Sometimes you can catch that skin, so you gotta be careful when the hair is really thick like this. Good girl. So I like to do a little bit at a time. Anyways, if uh, your dog doesn't listen as good as Pearl here, I do have. Um, some playlists created on my channel of me grooming more difficult dogs. I do the full groom and you'll be able to see the process of how I hold them a little bit better. The holding technique against my body. But of course, if they're listening really good here, I don't need to do that. And there we go. So quite a bit of hair in there. see um, her ears are a little bit pink but uh, once you get all that hair out and that wax that's sticking to it this coloration should go uh, basically a nice little ivory color kind of thing it'll start at the top and it'll work its way down into the canal hopefully we'll be able to see that by the time I'm done the other parts of the groove because it does actually <laughs> happen pretty quick hey here you go <clears throat> this here, oh. hold on there, girl. See, she was not a big fan of this side being done. Okay. I know this is kind of blocking your view, but she doesn't want to turn anymore for some reason. I'll try that. Okay, girl. This ear does look a little bit more red, so maybe it's a little bit sore. Okay. No, no. Okay. Hey. A little bit of clumps of wax in there. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> there we go. Hi, good girl. As you can see, there's quite a bit of hair in there. And if left in there, just because her ears were getting a little bit red and stuff and the wax was sticking to it, so that eventually could lead to an ear infection. So then I also put an ear cleanse in there. And just kind of put it in there. That's a good girl. And let them shake it out kind of thing. So that kind of loosens any extra wax that may be in there. Good girl, good girl. And then I may be able to clean some more out. Sometimes um, we have the brown wax in there too, which she does not. Um, then I use a paper towel. I'll moisten that with the ear solution and um, kind of rub out in the ears. And if it's really clumpy, I'll use Q-tips. Same thing after you use the solution though. So that there's lots of moisture in there and you're making sure you're not going too deep in there as well okay good girl all right so now i'm going to work on the feet and i'm going to show you with my the scissors and also with the clippers so basically it's important just to kind of hold on so she's not a big fan of that so i'm just going to hold on and let her kind of do her thing <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, hey, girl. Eventually they'll settle. So right now I'm just kind of going straight across the pad. Again, if you don't like scissors, I'll be using the clippers as well here. But even if you just go flat across the pad, just to get the bulk of the hair out, that will still help as well. But it's important when you're grooming your dog, if they are being resistant, to, uh, you know, if you can't get the scissors in or anything, just to hold them in place until they kind of stop resisting. You know, you can correct them by saying no or stop or whatever command you want to use. But by not letting go, it reinforces that, you know, even though they're resisting, you're not going to stop. If you do stop every time they resist like that or maybe nip, at your fingers or something, or yelp. It just reinforces that behavior. She's just trying a few different things to see if she can get away here. I'll do this side with the scissors and then I'll go to the other side and use the clippers. Okay, stop. Okay, good girl, it's okay. Alright, so for the nails, you can see your nails are quite long. If you're on your phone, you can zoom in as well. You can see there's kind of a curl there, so that's where I'm going to take it off at. Kind of where it really starts to really sharply curl. I just go straight across. Does have a dew claw as well. Hey girl. So again, I'm not gonna stop until I get them all done. And see now how she's not resisting. 
Now I will let it go. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, okay, one more foot. Do the back one. And sometimes, not always, but the front feet seem to be a little bit more sensitive for a dog. You can always start on the back foot and work your way up. And maybe they'll be a little calmer once you get there. kind of thing where they curve and also you can see where the pad is there I kind of go straight across from that too there you go good girl all right so now I'm going to use the clipper blade on the other pad I'm going to use a 40 okay good girl I know. Okay, ready? Turn. Okay. Hopefully we can get your viewing to see what's going on here. Okay. I know it's hard to see with the clippers in the way, but Try to angle it. So basically, you just use the clippers to dig in between there. Good job. Okay. Still do, whoops, I see. Still do finish up between the toes with the scissors.
But again, it's a little bit more sensitive than the back. So she's going to resist here. Right? And you just have to keep it further away. So she's going to resist anyway, so it's going to be hard for you to see. So again, I just kind of hold on until she kind of stops a little bit for me. Yeah, a little bit more sensitive, obviously. She really... It's difficult to twist. Okay, hold on. scissors are going to make a little bit of a difference for her. It's really hard to get in there with the clippers. I don't think she likes the vibration. And I know I'm probably in the way, but I'm trying to stay out the best I can. Good girl, it's okay. Hey, hey, make sure you go a little bit. A little bit resistant here. Okay, yep. But sometimes the clippers are a little bulky to get when they're a little bit smaller. Smaller like these, like Pearl here. She's pretty tiny. I do like using the clippers on the bigger guys. Sometimes your hand can get very sore just by holding, even though it doesn't seem like much. Anyone who's tried it will know what I'm talking about. One more. Come on, baby. There you go. Good girl. Okay, and just the bum area. So you can use the scissors in this area or the clippers. So I'm going to use the clippers. I'm going to use a number seven. Okay, good girl. Huh?
10 is kind of right where she pees just to make sure that's really nice and clean because of course that's where the pee likes to stick to and it is safer to use um, a 10 than a number seven, just because it's real, you don't want to catch anything. All right, so there's a quick little video on just the uh, trimming of the face, feet, and bum, and doing the ears and nails. Um, I am going to be doing her full body right now, but um, but this is just a quick little um, video of the harder parts to do on a dog. Um, but also sometimes if you're just looking to clean her up or clean your dog up in between grooms, this works quite well. So they still look quite natural looking. You know, they've still got some length to the rest of the body. Um, but uh, as that cold weather comes, right? So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a good day. And uh, I will talk to you again soon. Cheers, bro.